say, sometimes you get to know that the readers or the watchers actually watch your videos because what it was is on this video, on this hangout or video me and James did, because obviously this was about Southampton Docks and that was its maiden voyage. Me and James must have mentioned about the Titanic because we've done it a few times yeah, we lately. Did. Because um, well, I remember I said, saying it's mm. to find the location of this strange thing in the water. It's roughly opposite. Because mate, because you were talking about it being a real mm. thing, yeah. and I said, "Well, I don't know if it is anymore." Mm. Because how do you not know that they haven't done this? And then what it was is DJ Johnson on Facebook obviously had watched the video, yeah. sent me a link to UAP. It's called Iceberg. Yeah, very interesting video. Something yeah. I, I'd never, something I think most of us have never even thought about with the location and how far south an iceberg would have to come and it's going against the Gulf Stream basically that runs clockwise. Because the other day what it was as I was saying is that we only have their say so that the Titanic sunk now. We can't, you know that thing you can't verify it because it's too long ago. Obviously, there's papers, and then someone will say, oh, I knew someone on the Titanic, whatever. But what it is, is I was thinking, well, maybe it was always the sister ship was okay, and they pretended they had the Titanic, and they pretended to sink it, and it was one of their games, like they do to us today, well, and making you believe that something had happened when it never happened. Even beyond that, I mean, what do you. What can you buy bags of if you've got ice all over your path? But I know what it was as well. Josh, on the hangout the other day, he said no personal items were found, like rings yeah. or bones. But even leaving aside even that, before you can get to that aspect, you've got an iceberg which is made up of frozen fresh water. Ice, um, sorry seawater which contains salt will freeze at, I forget what the figure is it, it's something like minus 137 I think I, don't quote me on that because I can't remember but we're talking about April on the 41st degree line and you've got a fresh fr uh, fresh water frozen that's floating in salt water which at April would not be well, should we watch cold. a bit of this video yeah. and then yeah. He can explain it. Mm. Okay. Makes a good point. Rest in peace, Titanic. Rest in pieces. Well, rust in pieces or whatever. They made a movie about it. You know, it's probably a hoax. Now, I thought about it and I thought all the times I've flown over this area of the ocean where supposedly the Titanic went down. I don't recall seeing icebergs. Not saying it's never true. It probably is true that there are icebergs there every once in a while, maybe. Otherwise, the story really wouldn't have had any sense to it. So, is it all his story? Well, it was UAP points out there are no photographs of this ship hitting an iceberg or sinking and yet look at this picture now you could say it's an artist's impression but to me the clouds look genuine the water in the foreground and the reflections look genuine the ship maybe looks more like a sketch so I think what we're actually looking at here is an overlay of photographs and sketches put together. Well, it has to be because it says the sinking of the Titanic, which they don't have a picture for. Yeah. So that can't be real. No, but what I'm saying is the artist is very good at doing water and reflections because to me that that foreground looks like a photograph. If they can do a Stanley Kubrick background effect with the moon, I'm sure they can do it with. I know, and when you actually look at the images. pictures below, the ones with the blue in it, you're actually looking at not real things they're but like they're, cartoons they, they do look consistently to be artwork oh, but is but, that the iceberg that got the titanic <laughs> but if you look at those bottom pictures the does the water look real or does that look like a, no, a drawing cartoon. these are yeah these are just but then when you look at the black and white one that looks very convincingly like that is a photograph of water 
that's been mixed in. So, I mean, just because there's an iceberg and a ship, it doesn't mean it's... Well, who caught that then? That could be a real picture. Who took thing. that picture then? I don't know, it doesn't... It, I, I mean, think that's a painting. Well, it... It's just because it's next to this iceberg. The picture could have been taken anywhere if it was genuine. It could have been taken around Greenland or anywhere where there's um, supposedly all this ice. Mm, we, but we I think know, that's I think that's just they've put the iceberg there because mm. it's the Titanic. And they mentioned there's a sister ship, so I mean, do we even know that is the Titanic that's being shown there? Is that just because the caption says it is? Doesn't I don't mean know. It is. Those people knowing what they did, knowing that they made everybody because you know we I lived in an area where one of those Zeebrugge thing ferries went down. Mm. Yeah. It was supposed to go to Dieppe, and in fact, me and my mum got tickets. Because it was like yeah. a freebie thing in the paper. Mm. And what it was is, you just get your tickets and you go on that day. Yeah. I was pregnant with my middle son. Mm. And we'd only been back a couple of days when it happened. But we could have had those tickets. Mm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And that's if that was... Re well, anyway, that's just... But so we've had disasters. Hmm. Or near, and near, it makes, near disasters. Especially for somewhere like Southampton. Mm. Or the people that were supposed to be on this boat. You're going to get a lot of upset and grief. You know, like where I live, Lid, a lot of there's a lot of staff on one of those ferries yeah. came from, and so everybody was upset. The, yeah. the, the the small town was upset. So they would have, you know, what I mean, they make people have feelings they don't need to have because it yeah. never happened. Yeah, um, and I dispute this, the whole story, to be honest. This never happened. I I dispute the entire story um, about the Titanic, and like UAP says, if they've made it into a film. That puts the idea into people's heads. Do you know what, as well, James, don't forget, on all the films we've watched, mm. they make that Titanic seem so big. And then, even though yeah. these things are even much bigger, but the ferries they have today makes that look like a yacht. Yeah, the the ocean liners you can go on world cruises on, yeah, that, that makes that look tiny. Makes that look like a yacht? Yeah, definitely. Um, but what do we really know is real about any history? I mean, is that supposed to be a floor? Look, one, two, three, four. I mean, is it like four? There's loads of floors there. The fact that they've made a film and they, every now and again it will be brought back to life into people's minds to keep this memory of this this story going. Um, they do this a lot with things. They, they bring them back. I mean, the Yeah, start... but you would know one. None of us have thought that the Titanic no. wasn't real. Like the Star Wars toys, they're, they're brought back every seven years to catch each generation. It's all about making money. Um, this this, this was back. to bring something to people's mm. lives. It's not. Should we talk in the next bit? Because we've got another bit. Yeah. We're going to listen to just a little bit yeah. more. But well, anyway, let's listen to the next bit. We don't have any pictures of the Titanic sinking. We don't have pictures of the rescue boats out in the ocean. We don't have pictures of Jack Squat, but we have a picture of the very iceberg that sank the Titanic. Yeah, right. Hmm. It's very strange that they, they can find the iceberg that mm. did it, but they can't have any pictures well, with the iceberg. Just looking at that picture, I, I know they say there's a lot more iceberg. It looks like a iceberg. dragon or something. There's, there's a lot more iceberg below the surface. But realistically, when you see the size of oceans, do you think if that ice melted, it would dr drastically change the height of sea level? Because I dispute that entire thing. I mean, the pictures you see of icebergs, there's vast expanses of, of salt, salt sea water around it. it none, of, none of this makes any sense. And it begs the question, where does this frozen fresh water come from in the first place? Regardless of what people want to think the Antarctic is, it's like, well, where is this fresh frozen water coming from. What effect does it have when it mixes with sea, sea water, which has got uh, salt crystals in it? Well, there's two things, right? Mm. A, it's his story, and I, yeah. I, am, I am with UAP and stuff, yeah. same thing. Or if it really did happen, or that really was there, mm. maybe something had happened to the place we live, you know, we all know we've been flooded. 
1912. Because why would that ice be there? Hmm, it's... And they've left half the story out, like, the world was in chaos. Didn't, you know, the cold, yeah. uh, the flu thing happen after that, you know, the Spanish flu. Yeah. Well, you, they may well, I mean, I'm not no, disputing, you know, disputing maybe there, there, were, there were ships, we don't know the origins of those ships apart from the narrative that they tell us on anything, maybe they're they ships didn't, they from didn't, a different civilization. It's not mentioned the world was getting over Spanish flu when the Titanic left. Well, no, that was, that, that, was, that was slightly a few years later, but... Um, it's just like our history over Napoleon. Yeah, it's one, one news story after another news story, so you're just bombarded with these things but um, I mean have you ever seen an iceberg that looked like that I mean that actually looks like it's melting looks like almost like there's a structure under there frozen in it but uh, there's well, a dragon look there's throat. a dragon there's his eye look there's yeah. his ear there's his nose there's his eye and you that's <laughs> only a joke but yeah this thing looks if it's this color like this this thing's melting well it, it must it must melt when it comes into contact with salt because that's what you put down on pathways and things. They sell it in bags, rock salt. But you're not going to get an iceberg floating all the way down there, are you, without, no. without it, most of it melting? Like, they're lying again. It's coming into warmer waters. It's going against the flow. No, I don't see how this iceberg has miraculously got that far down when it's going the opposite way of the, <laughs> the natural flow of the Atlantic. It's okay, he's he's going to finish the hangout, the little video out. He's now going to talk about the temperatures. Yeah. So, do you want to say anything on about that? Well, before? no, I think I think I think he explains it. A UAP explains this very well. It's it's like well, yeah, it's so obvious now. He's pointed it out. It's like why didn't? How the hell didn't we just well, it's, realize it's, it before? It's the narrative paints this picture of majestic, sort of vast expanses of white, but. There's questions like why is there that island above the North Russian coast near the Bering Straits it, and it's devoid of ice and yet they've masked, well, I'd say they've masked things out on Greenland, that's why it appears mostly white. I, I don't think that's genuine, I think they're covering things up. They don't want us to see. I was gobsmacked when I found out that mm. Greenland has the same temperatures as us in the summer. Yeah. So it's a bit like... Say, for instance, some places in America could get it really nice weather from March to October, maybe yeah. November, and then they get a winter. Well, as I understand it, Texas But we has got get it from apparently. May to September. So we could get the same kind of weather in, yeah. but we just don't get it. And this is what happens in Greenland. Mm. They get the same kind of weather as us, but they don't get four or five months of it. They might no. get two months of it. But the fact that they got to our temperatures, I was really shocked. Mm. That's through research. So instead of listening to everything out there, you need to go and do your own research because half the time you find, even James, when we were looking up history, that site says this, this one says that, and you're like, ah. Oh. But then that one says these things that I never heard of before. Mm. And then you're like, it's just suddenly history's all poof. Then you, when you ask the questions, and because things don't make sense, they don't tally, then you get accused of being a conspiracy theorist for asking awkward questions well, they can't answer. What we're saying is, and UAP, I'll let him just say that bit to explain it, but this isn't right, James. No, not at all. How could we not think it was April? You're not going to get ice travelling down in April. Yeah, um... It's one Unless of those things we had some catastrophic, yeah, you know, I can't say the word. Co what's you call it? Cat Co catastrophe. Yeah, here, and ice was because we've had some big flood for some reason. It's brought mm -hmm. ice down. Well, if you think about it, with the but they're not mentioning that, are the, they? The Titanic story is so full of facts and figures, like everything else. So you get sort of lost in the details with it, and then don't consider the obvious and the natural. Like, hold on, we're in April. Where is this ship sunk? I never thought that it wasn't real. But now, but now it's... But I, I can give you, I mean, personal testimony. When I was in Sweden in the first two weeks of July of 2016, um, it was on a par with the Mediterranean for temperatures. I was quite surprised. I didn't realise they got it to all. And, and 
people I spoke to on Messenger have said about Canada the same thing. In the summer, it gets really warm. Yes, we've had a hangout with Mikey, who lives in the mm. middle of Canada. He said, what it is, is it may only be two months, but they get, they never think, and they think, is this heat going to stop? And then it gets cold yeah, again. They get, they get more of an extreme. But they don't explain that, that actually, you know, this part of wherever he is over, I think he's over here somewhere, up here, that this gets really yeah. hot in the summer, like California. In fact, that state there, my, my cousin's gone from, well, it might be that one then, yeah. California to the next state up, yeah. and it's not very hot there. No. So why is it hot up there? Again, it doesn't make sense. It's not hot it? there. And I told you, when Trouble did the... She was looking at the equator line on a globe. They make it always look like it's in the middle. But when you actually look at the land, mo this is all of this is in the Northern Hemisphere. Mm. There's only two tips and well, her... It does match the colours on that. On That That very dark red is, right, is further down, isn't it? Yes, but then how could they... I, I made a video about it. There are hot places and cold places. Lithuania up here... They go to the beach up here. Well, up here, sort of like, say, Newcastle, we don't go to... It's not hot up there, is it? No, I don't think so. These people flock up there, and they do in Denmark. Mm. It's the most important place for them to go is to the tip of Denmark. There's a little tiny piece of land which comes out there, and the North Sea meets the East Sea, and you can go and see it. And they like the sand dunes. And actually, I realise there's a pyramid buried there as well, as well as yeah. you can see army barracks, which one of them's in the sea. Mm. So it has risen a bit, the water. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, but they wouldn't be building jetties out like the, the Isle of Wight one if, no. yeah, <laughs> if we were, had global things. But anyway, um, they go up there, right? And they can have nice weather. And we actually know now with Sweden, they get really hot weather up yeah. there. Yeah. So how can that happen? So they have hotter weather than we do. Midway of the country. They get but, a more intense heat and a more intense cold than we do. This land is twisted round a bit, so it's not lying the way it is. And England lies over here a bit to the left. That's what I think with my research. But um, should we finish the video now? Because yeah. we were yeah. talking about the Titanic. And, yeah. you know, we we're just trying to show you that nothing is real. Well, UAP explains the different temperatures you get in the water. So... Again, that sort of is showing the same thing. It, I mean, it's in that sort of light blue or green band. So that's, that ice should be melting. Especially April. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> but it had to go down without any, well, hardly any survivors and mm. you, there was no ship. Yeah, it seems like another... Just a wow, story. you know, Again. we've grown up. They've even made a romantic that that thing with um the film Titanic. Yeah, it? Kate what's her name? Winslet was it? Yeah, all yeah. that like oh my god. We know that that was a love story and a yeah. make slightly made up, but yeah. you thought the bit about the boat was real. Mm. Uh, uh. Seems that way. Okay, on with the video. Thanks, James. You're welcome. Um in the Atlantic Ocean, which is warmer waters. Um, that is an area where uh, freshwater ponds inland that aren't salinated have a hard time keeping ice past late January, mid-February. Now, the Titanic was sank in April, so we're expected to believe that a chunk of ice made its way down there. Now... The location is approximately, get this, 5,000 miles south of the Arctic Ocean. 5,000 miles. And they're saying that the chunk of ice may have lasted all the way to World War I, another few years. Well, I doubt it. Um, the Titanic only... Well, me and James, what we thought we'd do was we were going to add a bit more to the video. We thought, let's just go and find the footage and see what's happening with the people. So, you know, waving goodbye to the boat. And what did we find, James? A diddly squat. <laughs> One video, everybody's copied, and you couldn't say that that was the ship leaving Southampton. No, not at all. Um, 
interestingly on the footage we have looked at these are all the same videos there's only Anything three 451 on it there's only it's three the funnels video. with smoke the coming video. out the real most funnel has got no smoke coming out of it which i find a bit odd these are the same videos they're all that's the same video i don't know what that is but um it does seem rather odd because i'm sure i have seen um footage of it leaving southampton old black and white film but so Whether it's footage. just not on YouTube or... That's the same video. That's the same video. They've been copied. Mm. These are all the same video. All with the same... And make that look enormous, don't they? I mean, look at that. It's gigantic. But it mm. wasn't. Well, it's said to have been the biggest ship in its yeah, day. I mean, compared to modern vessels, no, it's not big at all. It's more... It's not, it's maybe not a small, small boat, but it's not as big as they've made, you know, like the great big, the biggest boat of its time. I, I would say it's about the same size as a ferry that crosses from Dover to Calais or, or something. Or just a big yacht. Mm. But it looks big there, doesn't it? The impression we're given is it's massive, but it's about eight, nine hundred foot long. Yeah. Just a minute ago, we were actually looking at the whole boat, but I mean, I just stopped this footage. Does that look super duper fantastic? It looks dirty, it doesn't look brand new and pristine. I noticed it on all this, this doesn't look very good. I mean, if you find footage on it, it just doesn't look all painted and new. I mean, how do we not know? They could have lied about that, and that's a Tartaria boat. Well, even on the official that's a area boat even looking at the official narrative if you look into the finances of the white star line they were financially in trouble and that's where the whole story seemed to come about about swapping ships over it's, if i remember rightly it's to do with the insurance and this voyage was make or break of the white star line so uh, i don't know I what mean, happened to the company it after that it's, it's, does, it's supposed to be a new it ship looks, it looks worn it looks dirty it looks grubby. You can see it in the, yeah. In the yeah. It doesn't look like this wonderfully no. new painted boat which has just been made. Just on that lower section under that gang gangway bridge, um, you've got that. It, it looks like patched up bits on there. It doesn't look yeah, right at all. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yeah, it doesn't it's look right, does it? No. no. Well, maybe that's another. Maybe it's a ship that comes from the past and they've taken mm. it. Yeah, that's what I, I think. Maybe that that is the truth oh, of it. Oh, there's three. St right, a it's history. B, um, it never happened. Or C, it was a ship from another. I would go. Era. With, I would go with option C, and it's just a cover story to get rid of it. Um, yeah, because the sister ship stayed. Yeah, but I think that didn't that sink as well eventually. I can't even remember that one. Oh. Anyway, we're finishing now, aren't we, yeah, James? Yeah. We just wanted to add that bit. Yeah.